Yeah. But what Man United have always had over the years, whatever about talented players, they had players with character and personalities. I don't see it with this. I don't see it with this group. I heard Maguire talking during the week. He was like a robot. He was like, uh, 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 apologies to the fans. Did you? <laughs> like no emotion behind it. The guy, and, and these guys are on the back of good European championships for England. So, they, so they, they, they've turned up before for big matches. But we need to talk about Harry Maguire. All right. Uh, I've sort of, I kind of stayed a bit quiet on the whole Maguire situation for quite some time. But after that game against Burnley last night, I think it's the most prevalent and most important conversation that we need to have. That the strength of any team is only as good as the weak point was a comment that somebody left on the live stream this morning. And unfortunately for Manchester United, unfortunately for Harry Maguire, it is our current captain. We have been spoiled as Manchester United fans who has been our captain in the Premier League. Look, Brian Robson, Steve Bruce, Eric Cantona, Roy King, Gary Neville, Nemanja Vidic, Wayne Rooney, Michael Carrick, and then we've had uh, Antonio Valencia, who was okay, Ashley Young, and then Harry Maguire. But Harry Maguire, right, what's your opinion on Maguire? Because we need to speak about him. I'm going to speak about him in this video. I'm going to run through quite a few important points because I did this tweet after the game yesterday, and look, I was polite about it. I'm not someone who ever really... Jumps too hard on a player. Um, obviously not physically. Uh, I did it with Anthony Martial once, and I, and I felt a little tinge of regret. And with Ma with with Maguire, I've um, I've sort of sat back and 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 waited and waited and waited. But I said this tweet last night. I said, not sure about you, but I'm starting to lose patience with Harry Maguire. And yeah, it, it got a little bit of engagement. And that's just me putting it mildly. What do you think about Maguire? And for me personally. I think it's about time that Manchester United got a new captain and I think it's about time we have a conversation about Harry Maguire's future at Manchester United in the same way that maybe a lot of you were having that conversation about Aaron Wan-Bissaka a while ago. What's happened now? Ralph Rannick has come in and all of a sudden Diogo Delo is our first choice right back ahead of Wan-Bissaka. The way it's currently looking, I think Maguire is going to befall the same fate. And this is a Harry Maguire who has, he speaks the right, well, he talks the right talk sometimes anyway, certainly not after that game last night. But we've seen and heard so many interviews, so many apologies from Harry Maguire. We're ready for the fight. We're here. We're going to fight. Don't worry. Next game, we're going to turn it around. The Manchester United do not turn anything around. Now, you might come here and say, Sam, I think you're being slightly unfair. You're scapegoating Harry Maguire. This is a fact. When you are captain of Manchester United, you get held to a different level of accountability. You get scrutinized more intensely. Your standards have to be that much better than everybody else's because your standard has to be the standard. You're the captain of Manchester United. If you can play shit and you can play half-hearted, then everybody can do it. And that's the big problem we've got with Harry Maguire. His level's just not good enough for Manchester United. I'm going to get into that in a little bit. But it's more the fact that the extra scrutiny that comes with that armband, Harry Maguire simply hasn't coped. And it's not as if we as a club haven't supported Harry Maguire. Everything that kicked off there out in Mykonos during the summer last year, was it last year, when Ole Gunnar Solskjaer not only stood by his man, but publicly defended Harry Maguire, did everything possible. He could have been stripped of his ar armband at that point simply because of that. But he wasn't, right? And I thought that was kind of the right decision at the time. But I've seen nothing since. And I'm not sure I ever will now see anything that's going to teach me that I'm wrong here in this opinion. Last night after the game, the, the complete and utter lack of self-awareness from Harry Maguire to say that we have to see it out better, not concede a goal in that moment. Harry, my friend, I'm not sure who you're talking about, we. Harry Maguire was the man who overcommitted, jumped in, missed his tackle, then was five yards behind the play and doesn't have the pace to recover. Harry Maguire, I've stood by this and I'm, I will stand by this always. I think Harry Maguire is a good defender in a team which is confident and dominates the ball. You saw his performance against West Ham. Probably the best performance he's had this season. Harry Maguire, when United are in contr complete control of the ball, he's comfortable, it's easy for him. But when he's not, and that's the majority of the games for Manchester United now, I would say, he's just poor. And I'll tell you the thing, and the person that has made my mind up, that has made me reach this point where I wanted to do this video, and that's Raphael Varane. Raphael Varane's performances over the last three to four games for Manchester United have set the standard that I'm talking about, that a captain should be held accountable to, let alone just a normal centre-back for Manchester United. But Raphael Varane, we all know he's Rolls-Royce, right? But the last few games, we've really, really seen it. His level 
has exposed Harry Maguire incredibly to the point now where I don't think Maguire should be in this starting eleven anymore. I don't think that Harry Maguire should be Manchester United's captain anymore. And this is not a witch hunt. This is not a scapegoat. And for a lot of people who say, ah, oh, Sam, you never talk about all the British players who are playing crap. But well, here's a video for you, my friends. I don't do anything agenda-wise. I speak about what's best for Manchester United at a time when I want to do it because it's my opinion. Now I want to do it. But ha Raphael Varane's Fantastic performances in the last few games. Deserved that header last night. Thank you very much, Maguire, for being offside. Bit unfair, though, that one. Um, Varane set the standard, and Maguire simply does not match that standard. So because of that, because of what we can see in Rafael Varane and what we can see that Harry Maguire simply does not have, I can't really defend him as Manchester United's captains and captain anymore. Look, he's here, he's here saying we are ready for the fight. He comes out and says all the right things sometimes. But the fact of the matter is, is that Harry Maguire, we all knew it at the time. We all said it at the time. We were all confused at the time. Why did Harry Maguire get made captain straight away at Manchester United? The whole thing felt a bit odd. It's like you have to, some people it's, you have a little bit of an argument about whether you should get the number seven shirt straight away at Manchester United or whether you should earn it. That's a different ball game, really, because the armband at United used to mean something. The number seven at Manchester United used to mean something. Both of those have massively been lost. Our captains, there, look, we've got Antonio Valencia and Ashley Young as captains. Uh, Valencia, I'm a bit harsh in saying that. Yeah, I, the guy came through a leg break, one player of the year in two different positions. I like Valencia. But Ashley Young, Harry Maguire, in the same way that the number seven shirt's been worn by Michael Owen, Angel Di Maria, Antonio Valencia, who gave it back. And Valencia, again, an excellent point. With this armband, Valencia had the... Had the... not not Sorry, not the armband, the... Um, number seven shirt. When he was given the number seven shirt, he didn't let pride get in his way. It was obvious that the number seven shirt was going to be, was a burden for him. So he said, no, he wanted to give it back and he gave it back and his performances improved because of it. I think the same could be said for Harry Maguire right now. Clearly, he has never, ever been able to cope with being Manchester United's captain. Uh, Roy Keane sort of taking the piss with uh, his, uh, his, br his brutal assessment there at the start. But Roy Keane's not wrong. Harry Maguire has never inspired me as a fan. So how can he inspire those players? It's just not his character. He's not that type of person. Rafael Varane would probably be a better captain, but I'm not going to be a hypocrite and say we should give it to a player who's been here for two months. I think it should go to probably Bruno Fernandes or David De Gea. I would probably argue Bruno. I love Bruno. I know he can get on your nerves. I know he can be a bit of a king of chaos, but Bruno is the man who's dragged our club out of the mud over the last 18 months, and nobody should ever forget that. And he should be captain as far as I'm concerned because Varane has exposed Maguire's utter, utter weaknesses. And as I said, Arouane Bissaka was an absolute staple in Manchester United's team last year, wasn't he? In the team every single week, I think only De Gea played more outfield minutes than him. Him, Maguire, and uh, uh, Wan Bissaka, Maguire, and De Gea last season played majority of the minutes under Solskjaer. Now wan has been shifted out of the team because Ragnick doesn't think he's good enough. And I think now is the point where we do the same thing with Harry Maguire. I don't want to see Harry Maguire starting against Southampton. I think if Cristiano Ronaldo is... Look, you, you may have dropped in there against uh, Burnley because if he played 120 minutes against Middlesbrough. That might have been the reason. But if it wasn't the reason and it was simply because he wasn't in form then he has to be dropped. Maguire has to be dropped for the game against Southampton. Lindelof should be back fit and available. Phil Jones came on against Middlesbrough, so he's fit and available. And hopefully Eric Bayer is getting over his ankle problem. But Harry Maguire, man, I really, really wanted it to work out. But when you've got a player who's three times the quality and was three times cheaper than Harry Maguire in Rafael Varane, it shows you the levels. And as I said, look, right there, that man, Nemanja Matic, Nemanja Matic, Nemanja Vidic, all these captains here, your Brian Robsons, your Gary Neville, your Steve Bruce, Eric Cantona, Roy Keane, Wayne Rooney. The players that used to wear the armband at Manchester United were, they symbolised Manchester United. They were Manchester United. And I'll be honest, Harry Maguire does symbolise Manchester United right now. Broken, no confidence, doesn't really know who he is, almost having an existential crisis. Hell, that is Manchester United wrapped up right there. But Manchester United have got to start doing things right, I believe. And uh, this, isn't a, this isn't a witch hunt against Harry Maguire. This is an opinion that's been bubbling for a long, long time. But we need to talk about Harry Maguire. And in my opinion, we need to take the armband away from him and drop him against Southampton 
bring in uh, Lindelof, play those two together, give the armband to ha Bruno Fernandes. Because at some point, the line in the sand has to be drawn. If we're going to really try and drag the standards of this club upwards and it needs to be dragged upwards, then that man can't be captain anymore. He simply is not inspiring the players. He's not inspiring the fans. And when you've got a player of, of the quality of Rafael Varane playing alongside him, it also exposes his utter weaknesses as a centre-back. When Man United dominate the ball, Harry Maguire is a more confident player. When we don't, and that's a lot of the time, he gets drastically exposed. We all thought, we all said that as, as soon as you get the partner alongside Harry Maguire, he's going to be a much better player. We saw that at Euro 2020. Where's that Harry Maguire that was at Euro 2020? I beg you, tell me where he is because he's disappeared. Luke Shaw's form disappeared, but we saw against Burnley. He's still there. Maguire, Boop. flatlining. I don't know what to say anymore about Harry Maguire that you haven't already thought yourself. But you let me know what you think about Maguire in the comments below, please. Try and be respectful as you can be. But as I said, uh, the, the reaction to this, um, to that tweet that I did last night, uh, as I said, I've been, set, I've been sitting on the fence for a while, but now I don't want to sit on the fence anymore. He has to be taken, that armband has to be taken away from Harry Maguire, given to Bruno Fernandes and Man United to move forward. Because if, if, if our captain is allowed to get away with these sorts of performances, then it's going to be impossible for Ragnick to tell any other player that they have to buck it up. Because if the Maguire, if Maguire is the captain and can get away with it, then anybody can. It's all about standards and they have to be set. You let me know what you think about that in the comments below.